All right, thanks for watching. And today I'm gonna do something really, really, really cool. Namely, I will find the area of a parallelogram with four vertices. And you might say, why is he so excited about this? Because you'll see, it'll finally make the formula for determinant make sense a little bit more. So, and just a couple of things. Parallelogram, long word, but not as bad as diagonalizability. And definitely not as bad as metaphysico theologo cosmolonigology. Or, no, Donald Dampf Schifffahrts Elektrizitätswerkgesellschaftskapitänsmütze. Okay. <laughs> also, parallelograms, the Instagrams of geometric objects. Okay. All right, now let me draw a picture of this. So, <laughs> enough laughing. What? Gotta laugh. Okay, so zero minus two. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So six minus one. And then one, two, three, minus three, one. And three, two, one, two, three, one, two. Let's see, does it look like a parallelogram? Not bad. I mean, I've, I've drawn worse objects, but it's supposed to look like a parallelogram and we want to find the area. And you'll see the formula, it's so simple, you won't believe it's true. And, but I'll explain you then why it's true. Now, parallelograms. What have we learned in linear algebra? Well, we learned determinants, which will come in a second. And also we learned about vectors. And notice this parallelogram is literally determined by two vectors. This one and this one. This, think of it as u, and the other one as v. And by the way, uh, it doesn't matter which which edges you pick, as long as I think there as long as you pick adjacent edges, it's fine. So in particular, don't just pick this edge and this edge. That would be silly. And don't pick this edge and maybe this edge. That would also be silly. But I would say. Uh, 80% of the time or something, if you pick two random edges, it should be fine. I'm too lazy to calculate the exact probability. But, so now let's calculate u and think of it in terms of physics. I know, and so a vector is terminal minus uh, start, so end minus start. So u is 6 minus 1 minus 0 minus 2, and that's 6, 1. And v is, well, minus 3, 1, minus 0, minus 2. And that's minus 3, 3. Okay, you have those two vectors. And here comes a beautiful thing. What is the area? Well, you have those two vectors, put them in a matrix. So 6, 1, minus 3, 3, and take the determinant. Now, it turns out sometimes the determinant could be negative, and that would give you, if you like, the oriented area. But if you really want a positive answer, just make it positive. So just take absolute value of the determinant of that matrix, and it gives you the answer. And you're like, oh my god, that's it? Yes, that is it. So if you calculate this, it's 18 plus 3. An absolute value of 21, which is 21. Yep, that's it. But why is that so awesome? Because the definition of a determinant is so weird. If you remember the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, it's AD minus BC. The reason we get AD minus BC is to have this following fact, that the area of a parallelogram is the absolute value of the determinant. And in fact, the reason I'm so excited, let me use this to calculate the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Assuming that 
you know, the area of a parallelogram is, you know, uh, uh, AD is the, sorry, assuming that the determinant gives you the area of a parallelogram, let me show you that the determinant of a two by two matrix is AD minus BC. So consider now, it's just based on this one little picture. It's really neat. Consider a parallelogram with vertices AB, I guess, you know, determined by vectors A, B, and C, D. So the parallelogram looks something like that. So the... Very nice. Okay. Now, notice the parallelogram. You can think of it as like fitting inside a rectangle. So we have this rectangle here. Let me do this. So this is A, B. You can think of it inside this larger box. This is AB, this is CD. And notice what is the area of the parallelogram? So this shaded area is simply the area of this big rectangle minus those six little areas here. And and notice in particular, there are some similarities in those areas. So this area, it's two times this area. So this area equals this area. This one equals this, and this one equals this. So mm, yeah, let, me, let me shade it like that. So really, all we need to do is take the area of that rectangle and subtract 2 times this, 2 times this, and 2 times this. And let's see what we get. So, one thing though. What is the area, what are the dimensions of this rectangle? So this is A and this is B, because we have the vector AB, and this is C, and this is D because we have the vector CD. But notice this vector, you can find it again here. So you have this vector here, it's again here. And so this length here is C, and this length here is D. And notice this length is B. So the area of the rectangle is A plus C times B plus D. And in particular, let's see. Let's do the area of the parallelogram. So, area of this thing. It equals to. So, A plus C times B plus D minus 2 times, let's call this area A. So, 2A minus two times, let's call this area B, sorry, no, um, so that I'm clear with this, A, B, and C, let's call that. So minus 2A, minus 2B, minus 2C. Okay, what is that equal to? Well, let's fold this out, so AB plus AD plus uh, BC plus CD, okay, sorry. AB plus AD plus BC plus CD. Okay, now let's figure out the dimensions of A. So, uh, it's a right triangle with this side is C and this side is D. Because, you know, this vector goes up D unit. So, minus 2A is minus 2 times 1 half times C times D. So, the 1 halves already cancel out. And... What are the dimensions of B? Well, let's see. Um, notice this rectangle is the same as this rectangle. And the height is B because of this vector. And the base is C because of this vector. So it's minus 2 times BC. Lastly, what, is the, what are the dimensions of this triangle, which is also this triangle? Um, this base is A because of the vector AB, and this height is B because of the vector AB. 
So we have minus 2 times 1 half AB. And this cancels out. So in the end, what do we have? We have AB plus AD plus BC plus CD minus CD minus 2BC minus AB. And notice there's some beautiful cancellations. CD cancels out. AB cancels out. And well, BC minus 2BC is minus BC. So we get AD minus BC. So the area of a parallelogram, at least with this what's called positive orientation, is in fact equal to the determinant. And this is where the definition of a 2 by 2 determinant comes from. We just get that it's A, B, C, D. How cool is that? So you see why I was so excited about this video? And just one last thing, so I don't know how to prove that formula, but uh, for, you can also do this in three dimensions. Namely, if you have a parallelly pipette, so suppose you have this parallelly pipette, so 3D parallelogram determined by U, V, and W. So if this is U, this is V, and this is W. It looks something like that. Not bad. So if you have this parallel pipe determined by U, V, and W, then the volume is given by absolute value of the determinant of those uh, three vectors. So let's see, volume of parallel pipette. determined by u equals 301, v equals 623, and w equals 714. It's simply the absolute value of the determinant of those three vectors. And my guess is you can also prove it using a 3D analog of what I've shown here. So you would have some 3D box and you would have to uh, subtract, you know, like boxes and probably tetrahedra or something. But just if you're curious, the formula is then the absolute value of the determinant of 301, 623, 714. And well, you could use Bomberman, and in fact, let's do that. So it becomes absolute value of three times the determinant of this, two, one, three, four, and then minus zero plus one, so plus one times the determinant of six, seven, two, one. And then we get three times, so absolute value of three times, so eight minus three, which is 5, plus 6 minus 14, which is, I think, minus 8. And then we get 15 minus 8, which I think it's 7. Let me just double check. So uh, 3 times 8 minus 3, which is 5. So 15, and then plus 1, so 6 minus 14 minus 8. Yep, yep, so we do get absolute value of 7, which is 7 module or some errors. All right, I hope you like this parallelogram and parallelly pipette extravaganza, and I hope this was enlightening to you. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.